Hi Capricorns, I'm here today to do your monthly love readings for the month of November. I've already pre-shuffled the decks and meditated over them and staged them as well to uh, get a faster reading in for you guys to cut down on the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into the reading for you Capricorns. Holy Spirit, please come in and give me the accurate, precise readings for the sign of Capricorn for love in the month of November. Thank you, Holy Spirit. more shuffles here. <clears throat> okay. So you have the nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment, the full Seven of Swords, Nine of Coins, Judgment, The World, and I'm just going to pull a few more just to get a more in-depth uh, reading for you. The Sun, Ace of Coins. King of Staffs, Ten of Swords, and Six of Swords, with the Seven of the Staffs at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> okay, um... <clears throat> I'm just concentrating on the reading Capricorn on the cards to get a good, accurate reading for you guys. Alright, so what I'm seeing here is wish fulfillment here coming into your reading. Um, as if someone has manifest this wish fulfillment here, this new beginning with judgment in the world card in the sun but also with the seven of swords and the ten of swords it's some tension in this um, reading someone is feeling heartbroken and backstabbed but they are willing to move to calmer waters with you to have this new beginning and this wish fulfillment they're taking on a full energy just rushing in, moving forward with you, bypassing this backstabbing and heartache. And Capricorn, this can resonate with you or your partner. You could have been backstabbed by your partner and they could have got away with some things. And it's having you feeling a lot of anxiety, a lot of pain, and a lot of heartbreak. Because with the Seven of Swords, it's basically someone getting away with something, stabbing someone in the back, backsliding type of energy. But I do see either you or your partner are willing to go forward with this with the Six of Swords to move to calmer waters in this situation to have a new beginning with the Judgment, the World, and the Sun card. So basically what I'm picking up here is someone did some shady things in this relationship. They did a lot of backstabbing. They got away with a lot, possibly cheating manipulation a lot of things i'm seeing here and the person that's getting taken for granted has the full energy just basically just okay baby whatever you do whatever you say okay we can just work on it move forward have a new beginning and have this wish fulfillment with the nine of cups So let me just clarify this with a couple more cards but i picking up in this reading capricorn that someone 
is getting taken advantage of. It could be you taking advantage of your partner or vice versa. Your partner taking um, advantage of you. But nevertheless, whoever the person is that's getting taken for granted is willing to put all this behind them, all the backstabbing and the heartache and pain and moving forward with the judgment in the world uh, energy. Also with the sun and the six of swords, you guys are willing to, to overlook the manipulation, achieving the hurt and pain and moving forward to this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment. A couple more shuffles. Not, I'm surprised the um, devil card is not coming up. Came out yet in this reading, but I'm doing a couple of more shuffles, Capricorn, to clarify this. One more. Okay, let me see what I pull out here. <clears throat> so you have the Queen of Coins, Ace of Swords. Four of Cups, Knight of Staffs, let me get one more, and the Lovers. So yeah, what I'm picking up is someone basically is sad, hurt, going through a lot of heartbreak due to this Seven of Swords energy, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of cheating, a lot of manipulating ways. And you guys are willing to move forward with the Knight of Staffs. And the Ace of Swords is someone basically speaking their truth. Kind of cold-hearted truth, cold energy. I just pick up a lot of manipulation in this reading. Backstabbing, heartbreak. But you guys are taking on this fool energy. You're like, whatever. I don't care what you do to me. You can walk all over me. You can shoot me. You can do this. You can do that. I don't care who you cheat with. You can have... So many babies on me. I'm going to keep this full energy because that's how in love I am with you. To have this soulmate connection with the lover's card and the nine of cups, this wish fulfillment. That's how bad I want you to where I'm taking on this full energy. And Capricorn, <laughs> I mean, everyone has their own free will, but I don't think that's something you should do have someone walk over you manipulate you lie to you and constantly take advantage of you because there's plenty of people out there but let me get a couple of more cards just to because it's getting real interesting to me because i pick up a lot of uh, manipulation backstabbing energy and i pick up the person that's the one that's getting cheated has this full energy or your partner can have the full energy as well they have to doing what they're doing let me just um, get a couple more clarifying cards and your reading is similar to pisces but pisces reading was giving me a more overwhelming energy your guys reading is not doing that so much Maybe I pick up uh, out of your energy. I feel like, yeah, even though they're doing this backstabbing and cheating or have done it, I feel like your relationship is possibly savageful. Um, it could be mended. Yeah, the moon. So some secrets have came out. Some truth has came out with the moon and the ace of swords. It's some real hurting truth had came to light. And that's where the that Seven of Swords energy was coming from, where the backstab and the cheating got away with something. They basically got away with cheating. And you guys are basically, I feel like, trying to work on it with them and move forward with the Knight of Staffs, the Three of Staffs, and the Justice uh, card. You're trying to gain balance in a new beginning in your relationship. You're trying to put behind you this heartbreak, this backstabbing energy that they did and you're taking on the full energy you like you know what i'm gonna put this behind us i forgive you and i'm just gonna move forward maybe this is their first time cheating i don't know but i feel like this is the first time you actually seen something come to light and find it out and heard it from the horse's mouth uh capricorn so what i'm gonna do is pull a couple of the romance oracle decks and capricorn if this resonates with you please just leave your comments below and don't forget to like and definitely subscribe as well because I want you guys to get updated 
updated and uh, notified when I do any new readings for you because I will be coming back mid part of November and doing an update on the love reading to see if the message is still in the same standstill or if it's elevated or just the update on it and I'm also going to start doing general readings as well get a couple more cards See what we have here, Capricorn. Let's see, I told you someone is being sneaky, doing some backstabbing, getting over. So let me just start here with this. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I told you maybe this is something, Capricorn, that you guys just found out about. Maybe this is the first time you found out they was cheating. You probably in the past had an inkling feeling that they were doing some activities like this, but this is your first time ever having proof and hearing from the horse's mouth that this is what happened. But they're telling you, even though you're staying in it and it can be fixable, just pay attention to the red flags from now on. Don't ignore your intuition. Don't ignore your gut feeling because it's saying make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So yes, it's workable. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And it also says finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. I don't know. Maybe some backstabbing could have been with finances. Maybe they took you for granted with your money. Or maybe the person they was cheating with was helping them out financially where they were lacking. And maybe that could have been the reason why they were messing around with the other partner, even though that's not okay. But that could very well be the issue because you have the Ace of Coins here, which is usually abundance, you know, that you're doing pretty well with your finances. But then you have the um, Nine of Coins in here. So it might have could have been something with finances that made them stray. Or they could have did something with your finances. You know took advantage of you with your money and that's where the backstabbing the hurt and pain is coming from and you just found that the truth if this could have been that as well and then it says true love this is a romance of a lifetime and then new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so yeah i do see that the relationship is make is possible workable because it's saying that it's true love and it's new love so maybe like this like i said maybe this is something that you just found out about this person that they did some cheating and they did some foul things but it's workable i feel like you been with this person for a minute but i feel like it's still fresh maybe like a year into the relationship six months to a year no longer than two years is what i'm seeing here capricorn but with the new love and you really do love them and i said that a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and this is a romance of the lifetime with true love because you got this fool energy you basically like, baby, whatever you do, I don't care. We can work it out. It's workable. Let's just move forward. So, Capricorn, that's what I'm getting for your love reading for November. Um, yeah, I just feel like someone did some backstabbing, manipulating things, uh, things to you. But you've got the full energy and you feel like that it's workable. And I do see a good cycle coming in with you guys with the world card judgment uh what's the justice in the sun so it is workable and then you have the lovers in the nine of cups so it is possible for you for you guys to get to that point but you have to make the effort and you have to stay optimistic about it in order for it to work so capricorn i hope this resonates with you guys like i said don't forget to like share subscribe and comment thank you